Praise the Lord. Good morning and welcome to the Sunrise with Jesus. Today, I am going to share with you a secret, a magic ingredient to become beautiful. And if you're a man, to become handsome or brilliant or whatever. And as you use this ingredient every day, not only would you become beautiful, the people around you would become beautiful and the world around you would become so beautiful. And that magic ingredient is, shall I give you a clue? It begins with the letter G, G. that is bound to bring out the beauty within you and reveal to you the great beauty around us and in every instance and in every dimension of our life and even in every person who comes our way that secret ingredient is gratitude in fact the one difference between people who are real and people who are unreal is the element of gratitude. A person who is realistic will realize what the Word of God says in the first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 7. The Word of God says, What have you that you have not received? The one thing we realize is all that we have, none of it is what we have earned. If we look at it with realistic eyes, everything we have is a gift. And this knowledge, this realism makes us grateful. It keeps us humble. It keeps us on solid ground. And at the same time, it raises our spirit in joy. A person who is grateful is always humble and always joyful. And guess what the added benefit is? A person who is grateful has faith. What is this faith? When I know I have everything that I have because God gave it to me and not because I have any claim to it, I am confident the Lord who gave me what I have will never stop providing for me. When I look at my parents who love me so much, I know for sure that God will always surround me with love. But the opposite of this is a person who is unreal. And just as real people have this ingredient called gratitude, an unreal person, a person who is living not in the real world, but who is living in his or her expectations, such people have another element, not gratitude, but an element called the sense of entitlement. I feel I am entitled to all that I have received and I am entitled to so much more. Now a person who is entitled is never grateful, never happy and never content. So such people, a person who is ridden by the sense of entitlement is always frustrated and always clamoring. Look at the difference. A person who is grateful is joyful, is confident. But a person who is ungrateful is a person who feels discontented and who is always clamoring. You and I must make a choice whether we want to be a confident people or a clamoring people. A person who has a sense of entitlement, wherever he or she goes, will always expect blessings and privileges. And when they don't get it, they break the faith. They break relationships. They're not able to appreciate where they are and what they have. Let me give you an example. Now, I could say, I am serving the Lord. I am serving this particular organization. And I could feel I am entitled to blessings. I am entitled to help. I am entitled for protection for my family. I could have a certain sense of entitlement. And when I don't get all that I expect, I can lose the faith. I can lose the joy of where I am. But 
the opposite of this is Mother Mary. She was so grateful. She realized to be called by God was the greatest privilege. And she's filled with joy as she sings, My soul magnifies the Lord. For the mighty one has done great things for me who is his lowly handmaid. Dear friends, the gratitude of Mother Mary is something she received from the tradition of scripture. In Jewish scripture, the Hebrew scripture, they had this prayer that they would pray frequently during the day. It was called the Shema. And it begins this way, it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one God. And then it continues to recount the marvelous deeds of God through every generation of their people. And there's something so interesting. They do not talk about how they were lost in slavery, but they would recount about how they were delivered by God. They made their whole history of salvation a litany of joy. Dear friends, we all can weave our memories together either as a litany of joy where we keep counting our blessings and rejoicing. And as that traditional hymn says, when you count your blessings, you'll be surprised at what God has done. Your faith soars and you are ready to meet any challenge. And not only that, you will surmount challenges. Or you can look at your whole life as a litany of sorrows. And when we fail to be grateful, the magic of life is gone. The beauty of life disappears in darkness. Sometimes even the most beautiful friendships we do not value any longer because we had expectations of so much more which the other person could not give us. We could have the most beautiful vocation perhaps of having a marriage, of giving our lives in a religious service and yet we can lose the whole beauty of that love story if we forget to count our blessings and walk in gratitude. Today, as we listen to this message, may we weave a litany of joys. May we be people who are rooted in reality, rooted in that great sense of gratitude and faith, a faith that will see us moving mountains. Our life will continue to speak of a God who has always been with us, a God who is unchanging and who will see us to the end according to his perfect love and incalculable generosity. Praise the Lord. Dear friends, as St. Paul tells us in his letter to the Corinthians, in the first letter to Corinthians 14 verse 15, what am I to do? I will pray with the spirit. I will pray with the mind also. And I will sing with the spirit. I will sing with the mind also. So dear friends, St. Paul is telling us praise and prayer is a deep experience from within. So it's not just something we utter with our tongue or something we could utter with words. If we need to connect to a God who is almighty, who is holy, a God who is the perfection of love and light, from the darkness that surrounds us, we need to connect to who he is. And this takes a lot from what we have within us to be a part of who God is as an offering. And so it's rightly called a sacrifice of praise. And today we know that the efforts we put into praising an almighty God is very important for Connecting to a God who is holy. So dear friends, in the book of Proverbs we read in chapter 28 verse 9, If one turns away his ear 
from the from hearing the law even his prayer is an abomination what more our praise could have an effect in connecting to god so dear friends as the book of proverbs tells us it is so important that we do not turn away from the law of god in other words have a righteous heart when we praise god saint augustine rightly said singing is equal to praying twice singing as saint paul says should be with a heart of love for god it should be a heart which cares which desires to even have the fear of god in the sense not turning away from god not even choosing to displease him so the fear to displease a god is rightly called the fear of god and today we know the power of praise becomes a mighty reality only because of the state of the heart so if we are a person who loves god who has inclined his heart to god who has chosen to honor god out of the love we have then we experience who god is in what we do be it praise or be it prayer in 1993 when i came here for the retreat that is when i experienced the power of prayer through praise so in fact praise became a prayer and so when the heart condition changed in a retreat right from the beginning the preaching is done to change the heart to make us available for god's power to be manifested in our lives so the power of praise the power of prayer is is experienced only when we have a heart that seeks god so today how do christians praise god how do how do christians do this and so we see we praise god in a song we praise god as we we saw saint augustine telling us as as singing is equal to praying twice so dear friends we experience this power when we have our hearts united to god and so my dear friends what is impossible for our god our god is able to reverse everything is able to change everything for our good and so for this we need to reach out to god and so we praise god in prayer so when we follow the instructions of jesus and express our adoration for him and we say hallowed be thy name so matthew 6:9 hallowed be thy name it means lord we honor you lord we praise you with all total reverence we praise you o god we find an expression of our love being manifested for god Yes friends the secret to joy the secret to holiness is this to remind ourselves what have we except all that has been given to us from our god the word of god says every good and perfect gift is from the father of lights in whom there is no shadow of change the god the lord our father who has given us all that we have right from the breath of life is a god who will be with us unchanging in his love in his generosity so come let us adore jesus and let us tell him i come before you today lord and there's just one thing i want to say thank you lord i love you lord and i lift my voice to
tells us in Psalm 34 verse 1 as the psalmist says so we too will say verse 1 tells us I will bless the Lord at all times his praise shall be continually on my mouth my lips will praise my God because my God is a living God is a true God is a God who hears every word and this morning till the end of day the heart with every beat to tell God, I love you, Lord. I truly love you, my God. I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice to Do not take us away from your presence. For God, in your presence, we enjoy every moment because we find ourselves being an instrument 
of peace. Yes, God. That we may live a peaceful life in our families, in our workplace, in the community. Wherever we go, whatever we do, radiating this peace to others. Let it flow in abundance. For when in Christ Jesus, whatever we give to others will in turn multiply in us. And you see the depths of every child that belongs to you, God. You want to purify, to sanctify them every moment, even if a small mistake. You are ready to cleanse us, to make us pure and holy because you are pure and you are holy, God. We belong to you, God. We want to bear fruit for you. Sanctify us, God, for your glory. Sanctify me, O oh God. Cleanse my body, mind and soul. Everything within me. Purify. All my brothers, my sisters, oh God, who you have called, you have chosen, body, you have handpicked, mind and soul, you have cleansed them, God, purify, sanctify every area of our lives, whole, body, mind, soul, and spirit, God. Me, we belong to you, Jesus. Oh wholeheartedly God, with every fiber my body, every cell mind and soul, every drop of blood in us God is purified by your precious blood me whole, sanctify sanctify me oh God cleanse my body Mind, mind and soul, purify me and make me whole. Yes, Lord, your word in the Psalms tells us in Psalm 51, verse 6 You desire truth in the inward being, therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart in your holiness God in your presence you not only give us peace but you give us wisdom understanding knowledge and truth that sets us free let your truth penetrate into my secret heart. Sanctify. Lord, we become instruments of your peace, of your joy that bubbles to others, Lord. A smile that comes from you to give us strength to do your will, to proclaim you, Lord, your word. That's why God, in all humility, this little heart wants to cry out to you and tell you, as you come and bless us, tell you, I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice at this moment to experience you more and more of your love 
that you change us lord into your image and likeness that we may glorify you more and more by loving you more and more god because you are love and you love me so much you gave each one of us so many chances now i want to cry out and tell you i love you our life but especially today we need to make that little exercise to count our blessings to give thanks for all that we have and as we do this we will see love blossom in our relationships we will see love abound in our vocations and we will see that where there is love there god abides and we will see the presence and the beauty of god filling our lives and shining through us god bless you and spread the sunrise of jesus with your love with your gratitude and may you have a beautiful blessed brilliant day with jesus The Ministry of the Divine Retreat Center needs your support as they continue in their commitment to preach the good news of Jesus through the weekly retreats, the daily online and television ministry, through the service of 3000 disadvantaged persons, the mentally challenged, the aged the destitute women the sick and abandoned and economically disadvantaged families if you are inspired to share in this ministry through the sacred service of alms giving we invite you to send your love offering to divine charitable trust cd account number 040223 
1-800-000-14 HDFC Bank Chalakudi Branch IFSC Code HDFC 0000402 and email the details to divineretreatcenter at gmail.com